I don't think anybody would dispute that. <laughs> Probably being a favourite is it comes with a lot of pressure. Yeah, we'll see how that uh, how she for the position of the holds, the angle to see what angle you grab them at, uh, maybe which hand. Trying to see if things are dynamic or static. You know, one boulder you might figure something out before everybody else. Uh, yeah, carrying that feeling into the rest of the competition will be, you know, hopefully really good for Stasha. Absolutely. Well, that is our boulder, a lovely free day rendition of it. That's the start, and you have to start where the blue lines indicate one limb on each hold. And then as we continue upwards towards the purple volumes, the zone, that's the first scoring opportunity. You have to control that. And then finally, there's the top in a blue circle forward boulder we were talking about mm -hmm. it's going to be exciting but it's obvious the beta for it we think anyway yeah yep. so stash is swinging out and then getting a high heel and she'll be looking to go on top of that purple volume just a matches. fairly straightforward mantle here yeah so mantle is when you press up using those triceps and shoulders and you can see how awkward it is from that angle Palms down on the hold. We're making good work of it so far. Yeah. Easy peasy. Easy from Stasha. This will help her confidence as she brings that right foot in, trying not nice. to stand on her hand. Whew. I think there's not the, the left hand that she's really crimping hard there. It's a little bit slopey, so nice. Well, Stasha with no issue. A flash on boulder one. And there, that means a lot to her. A flash is when you climb it first time, no falling off, and that is the best score possible. Yeah. And we can see, I've noticed a change in attitude from Oriane. She's much calmer. She's less affected by the audience, I think. Mm. So her first attempt, and she won't know that Stasha flashed this, although she would have heard it and she knows she's been out quickly. Yeah, she knows Stasha was only climbing for about a minute, so there's not much other option other than she flashed it. But well, Oriane stays focused, she gets up, needs a big mantle here. She lives, trains, and climbs in Fontainebleau, which is an area with a lot of mantles. <laughs> I think this will be not much of an issue for her. <laughs> Should be easy. But she is having to work as she stands up into that left hand crimp and then she needs to work her right foot up to match her hand. Creeps her way forward and this is what Very Alana nice. was... And that's that move that she could swing out on if she rushes it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if her hips come too far to the right over, over her foot, uh, that's, there's nothing to recover. From the USA, she's 21. Came 12th in Maringin which mm -hmm. I, I sort of got started getting used to expecting her in finals. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see her back. Very, yeah. She did so well in Tokyo, although there were definitely momentum that would have helped. But Yeah, because she's trying to drive. Now she's driving off two feet. Yeah. Closer this time from yeah. Brooke. Currently ranked third. Of course, because only third athlete out, <gasps> much better. Mm -hmm. So Brooke now eyes it up again, back and forth. Oh, it just seems awkward from her. And she's going to call it a day. Doesn't have to complete the time, and sometimes it's worth saving a bit of skin for other boulders. Skin and energy is the unknown in this competition. Her last comp was Maringin last. She came 29th, and that is it in terms of stats. You were looking at the Japanese nationals and competitions. Mm -hmm. I think she came fifth in the most recent Bouldering Japan Cup. Oh, That's nice. Right away off the mark. Oh, opts for a toe instead of a heel hook in this hold here. Oh, come on. Big slap up with the right hand, makes it stick. Now needs to match. And she begins this mantle process, getting that high left foot and starting the push and the rock up. Palming down, pressing through. Looks Close. like she's having a little bit of trouble flipping that right hand. Yeah, you can see her reaching up towards the crimp, but she's not high oh, enough no. of it yet. And that is so Mia now re-pulls on. She got the Famu first go and is now struggling to make it stick. This time gets it. 
And yeah, toe instead of a heel. Mm -hmm. And it means that that, that rock art move is quite a long way without that heel in. Yeah, as she gets about halfway up that move, the toe will help her press, but it won't help keep her in towards the wall. Come now, can she adjust her hands? Look at her fingers and the way she's going to turn them. Using her face, anything to try to get some friction on that surface. Oh no. It's not a lot of time left. Yeah, 19 seconds. She comes down again. That might be it, unless she jumps straight back on here. No, she's not. She's going to call it a day. So, we started off thinking, perhaps, in my head, any. I would, you know, venture to say she's not going to struggle with this boulder. Yeah, she's a physical climber and enjoys the physicality mm -hmm. of the overhangs as well. So, let's watch her first attempt now. Legs swinging ninja style. Ooh. She goes up. So Camilla with a minute to go now. <gasps> oh. Looks like she was making... And then... <laughs> and I tell you what, the audience will respond to that. You don't need to tell them <gasps> twice. Oh. So close from Camilla. Will she go one more time? She's certainly got the time. Zone, Camilla, come on. Come on. Up the match. It was so close. Oh. So with eight seconds to go, she calls it. And we'll leave. And that smile that has become her calling card. Yeah, she always looks like she's having a great time out there. She does, doesn't she? Well, I think she is having a great time out there. Towel, just to make sure her feet aren't dirty. Oh, there is the adjustment with the left hand. Gets a great pinch and then uses the heel. And there is a sort of, there's a chalked up undercling, but it's unnecessary. You have to go all the way up to the top of it. And let's see her mantling skills. Has she been doing the press-ups? Yes, she has. <laughs> Easily up into the left. And brings the right foot up and underneath. Easy. Controls it nicely at the top, matches. And Oriane Berton is leading the way due to the position. Our next bowler, I think he's beautifully looking. That slab is three degrees leaning backwards. So off vertical, starting down there on those dish-shaped holds. And it's a running start to mm -hmm. get established. Yeah, you can't just step off the ground. There's the zone needed to press down on that later on and the top another half moon dish and quite a big move cool calm and collected if you're frustrated that's when things tend to go wrong because you can't speed your way through a slab often anyway mm -hmm. i've seen tomoa do it once or twice <laughs> but not often so four minutes on the clock stasha sitting in second there is that running start but she'll have to control nice. it brings both feet down Out with the right, needs to find Ooh. that point. And this move around the corner, there's sort of a hidden foothold later on. It's blind. Oh, just sticking her fingernail in the edge there to get some tiny little bit of balance. It Painful. Is it's incredible what everyone uses, isn't it, when you see this? Yeah. Left foot up, and there's a good right foot if she can find it, but it's hard to see. It's kind of underneath you by your hand. I think you might use that one just a little bit later. I think you have to get to the zone first. Yeah. Yes. Now it worked. The talking to clearly, <laughs> clearly works there for that hold. It's behaving itself. And now she starts the journey out right, but keep an eye on the time. 35 seconds. It ticks down slowly. thinks about reaching up to that blocker hold. It's not a hold that, it's just used to stop the athlete doing what she tried to do, which is to use it. No zone awarded yet. Yeah. Oh, oh no. what a shot that was at the right foot. Running start, I'm sure. No problem. Up she goes, right foot down, smearing on the hold. Uh, just see how she drops that right heel to get 
you know, more friction, more surface area on the hold. Oh, that was really nice. Yeah, Just lovely. Tipped moves. over. She looks like she's struggling to find that hold, and that, that's an indication how blind it is. Yeah. There it is, now pushing up with the left. And she's eyeing the zone hold. She can see it. Gets the left through. Thumb oh, on the nice. blocker. Oh, no. And just looking, sorry, at that score, Stasha has been... Takes the run up. Right foot out, smearing on the wall. And she's not using that Stasha method of pressing into the hold. No. She just smoothly and slowly keeps, continues to tip her body over, uh, over her foot there. And then left hand in. And now this is the yep. tricky sequence. The, that little other foothold is a, a pinch, like a, for the thumb. Oh, nice. So now she's gotten the zone, so she doesn't need to touch it again. She can skip it. So Oriane presses upwards. Only the final hold to go. She'll stand Ooh. on the zone hold, though. Blind foot match. Luckily, that foothold's pretty big. Come on, Oriane. <gasps> no. Yes, matches for Oriane. Fantastic stuff from her. That means a lot. And the crowd totally behind the 17-year-old star as she comes down and straight up to the top with two tops. Virtue I sort of don't associate with climbing, but you're right, you have to have it, don't you? For slab, absolutely. Oh, different way to start this boulder. She didn't run into the press, she just ran into one hand on the left zone hold. Now she has to climb into the position, but that works. As long as she doesn't touch another hold first. That was cool. I like that. So Brooke, thinking outside of the box to get things going. Now, we know the hard part is the sequence into the zone. Great shot, she moves her feet through. And gets stood up high into the pinch. Oh, she's got to put her thumb on the little green hole to pinch it. <gasps> oh. Now that will be harder to call. Go uh, up to the pinch and then to the zone and then move your feet. Uh, but when Orion did it, she skipped the zone, right? She, she went straight up. And then Brooke, in that attempt, did not grab the pinch and went straight to the zone, so... It's interesting how athletes do break the beater sometimes, mm -hmm. unintended. It always worries me when a root setter tells me that it's meant to be a certain way, because so often an athlete finds a different method. Mm -hmm. But that's the cool thing about climbing, too. Absolutely. So up with the right, and Brooke and is doing it. And if she ignores the zone hold now, just like Orianne, yeah, there we go. Well, she's already got it. She's looking down on it. No, she has to stand on it. But she's got to do this foot swap. But it's a big hole to swap on. It is. Oh, she's just going to cross straight through. There we go. Brooke thinking on, Brooke. differently here. She's got a big move up, though. <gasps> yes, it matches. Very nice. Well, after that, perhaps disappointment on Boulder 1. She's back yep. in the running once more. Temperature's definitely dropped. Yeah, perfect conditions for these athletes out there under the lights. As Mia works her way towards the right, easy to start with. Which method will she use? We expect her to go for the zone. I mean, it's logical, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Everyone's gone for the zone on their first attempts. It'd be fascinating to see if any athlete sort of reads it differently and decides not to. But mm -hmm. also, you know, it, it could work they, with the zone as well oh absolutely well i mean clearly it does because that's the way you know the setters did forerun it but. right so right foot on the small hold left foot up into the half moon dish oh, oh. nearly peels <gasps> awkward right foot once again onto probably the onto the big hold yeah yeah you're right let's see how she can do this, if she can do this again. That's a risky method in 12 seconds. It's not going to be enough time I'd, to top out. Yeah, she's already got zone, so this is kind of a <coughs> not. Mia will be counted out. It's good to see her climbing, but she can call this. Oh. I mean, fighting right to the very end. That's 
It's good to see, isn't it? Great to see. Kind of depends. I don't know. They both look, I mean, equally successful, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> kind of th think it depends on your height, um, how jumpy you are, and, and your climbing style. So Camilla is up and going. Starts to lean out right towards <gasps> that zigzag lightning. Hold, how is she still Ooh. on? Defying gravity for a second. Yeah, really. Afterwards, I I made finals one time, uh, and I remember I was sore for days. And that's the kind of dedication it takes. So Camilla just couldn't find the balancing point before. Better this time. Ooh, very nice. Comes in, tiptoes out, that small right hold, gets it with the foot, bumps the hand, left, and now this is the tricky zone conundrum. Okay. Nice and slow, come on. Yes. Left thumb up, yeah, she is slow, nice and controlled. I think that's the oh. most successful. <laughs> educated climbing audience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. We've got a few disciplines. And if you are watching and you're new to our sport, hello and welcome. This is bouldering. We've got a few disciplines. Earlier on we had speed, which is a race up the wall. Boulder is all about hard moves, intensity, and short Ooh, problems. What is she crimping? The screw hole, oh my god. Yeah, look, her right Amazing. hand, you are allowed to do that. Yeah, yeah. And it worked, because she's in. And that right foot, I mean, it just really, and she was attempting the Ooh. foot swap there again. Oh, don't tempt fate. <laughs> Ooh, foot up first. <gasps> and a big nice. pop up. And just like uh, Brooke and Oriane. Oh, no, now she's using the zone. Now she's trying to oh. use it for the points. But she hasn't gone the zone yet. Yeah, of course. Will that count? Should count. Yeah. There it is. Pings up. So good zone. Clever climbing from Camila. But she figured out that different method the same way they did. It's fascinating. I mean, it's special considering how relatively <gasps> inexperienced she is. She's so good at reading these problems. And there is the top. Yeah. One jump away now. <gasps> Archie Pox no. gets it. <laughs> Two hands at a time. Nice. <laughs> Two hands finishing it off for Camilla. I wonder Italian. if she's going to do Brooks' method to start. Well, they would have looked at it together. No, she did the, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're right. Yeah, sometimes Ooh. teammates sort of swap beta with each other more than other people perhaps mm -hmm. yeah definitely all right natalia how techy is she feeling today out nice. she comes to that half moon and the right foot up Come on, looking to get stood up and that's the problem you can't see it ah oh, but somehow instinctively oh, nice. she finds it natalia if she can flash this we'll be right up there yeah that's a zone Half the job done. Now she needs to finish it off. That's funny. She she touched it, and and definitely used it, but that was not necessary for her to do that. Yeah, I mean it's part of the game, isn't it? Sometimes. Yeah. Undercling up, and this is the awkward jump. It's not far, but it is uncomfortable. Only one foot up. <gasps> yes, and right hand. Great work from Natalia. That was a the victory here this evening. And Natalia Grossman. That's on the left, a running start. Going all the way to the right around that corner. Difficult blind start. And there's the zone hold up top. That is a very modern style boulder, the run and jump into the grey hold, out towards the right. And then up to the zone. And that's a tricky little blocked hold up there underneath the triangles. This is a, this is a cool one. So Stasha will have a chance to look at it again because it's been a while since she saw this. Mm -hmm. That observation period, quite a long time ago now. So she eyes it up. Run and jump time from Stasha. Sets herself up. Rocks and Oh, no toe. problem. Great move from Stasha with that toe. Gets the zone straight away. Oh, oh I was able to keep the foot on there. The root setters definitely thought that was going to be uh, all points off. 
Yeah, they've kind of envisaged a rotation all the way around, but Stasher, look at that, so awkward with the shoulders. Is she on for a flash here? One move to <gasps> go! Oh no! Just comes off the top and spins down. Oh, that was so good though. She's been on the scene a while and has recently, last couple of years, has found something different. Right foot goes out into the toe, chalks up. <laughs> into the zone, pops out left, spins. Oh, almost cuts loose still. That shoulder in such an awkward looking position. Mm -hmm. oh, this, yeah, really awkward crossover there. Now, this is the move she dropped. Can she get it this time? <gasps> yes. She does. Matches Amazing. it. Yes, Stasha. Great celebration at the top. I told you you could read her emotions. Next, she takes a deep breath. Yeah, you're right. It's a long way to that zone. If you are a bit shorter, let's mm -hmm. see what happens. Running jump, the swing, the catch. Looks like nothing. <laughs> she goes now twists pops through oh composure in her face but what strength required but that's the blocked hold so it just stops you getting all your fingers behind it mm -hmm. she's still got most of them yeah yeah it, seven probably <laughs> oh that oh, heel wow. i doubt the root set has thought that was possible and now she's got to drop it back down can she flash oh. this boulder it's just Slightly not short. far enough and looks at the wall. This is so exciting. Come on. She knows she can do this. She's 34 seconds away. But it's a quick boulder. It's a quick boulder. Takes the swing up. Doesn't want to rush, but does need to move. That's the left. That was the danger moment, and she kept it together. Now, this is where she might lose her energy. She's thinking about doing it a different way. She does do it a yes. different way. She makes the right work, though. She's got 11 seconds. Huge move needed. Has Oriane got it in the tank? She needs to pop up, and she no. doesn't. She had to change her beta. Yeah. Ah, oh, that first. Yeah, and you can't just run as fast as you can on this these first three volumes because you have to be decently precise to hit that gray hold because it is a little bit blocked. So, Brooks' first attempt. Up she goes. Doesn't put the toe hook in, doesn't need it. Oh, okay. Different beater straight away from her. She brings the right in. Oh, again, different foot for this move. Chalking up as well. She crosses through Static. statically. <laughs> and there's the swing, though. It had to come at some point. Just a little one, though. <laughs> so, Brooke working out different methods here. Oh, yeah, she's going to go for the match-match like Oriane. Cuts loose, chalking up again. She's clever climbing this, resting her way through it. Goes back down. She's got to bring the right through. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, okay. So she's not going to do the match-match. It's blocked. You can see it sort of prevents that match a little bit. But, and then, oh, sort the of. heel. Oriane sort of. still managed to yeah. do it. <laughs> but the heel is almost doesn't help you because it's such a big, a long way to the last hold. Nice. Wraps her fingers over that jug, gets Amazing. it done. <laughs> With very different beta, that was very cool. Amir, now this is, see if she's been unsettled by the first part of this competition. Mm -hmm. Got some zones, but no tops. Yeah. Uses wow. the toe. Wow, everyone flashes first move so far. Knock on wood. <laughs> Continues. Amir crosses. Oh, and then cuts loose. Big cross, but so much control on that. Yeah, especially with that shoulder in that slightly turned position. Mm -hmm. And now, remember, this red hold she's going for is blocked on the back. Slaps up with the left. Can she do the Oriane match? She does. Oh. With that heel in. Yeah, this takes a fair bit of time to do that match on that hold. <gasps> oh, no. Just body was going backwards and worst for me. But of course, it makes sense. It makes me hands more sweaty when you pick them up. Uh, and yeah. yeah. Perfectly logical. I've just never heard it before. So Mia runs, swings. Can she find something else? 
she goes. And remember, there's one more boulder after this to climb, so she needs to save something for it. She swings. This is her first ever final, remember. Sets herself. Fingers crimped up on the hold, trying to rest to get something back. Up with the left, just makes it. She's got to do this awkward match. 17 seconds. Piano matching there. Yeah, fingers dancing across. Come Kaiser on, Mia, up. come on. Oh. Short for Mia. Just not enough. You know what, fair enough. I mean, I don't think she necessarily had that. but She's good at coordination. I'm, I'm sure she is. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I can remember her honor coordination, and I can't write in this second, so we'll find out. <laughs> well, she did all the boulders in semifinals, and the fourth one was... True, so she has got that. She knows it's in her body. Yeah. Actually, she did an amazing coordination move in the final at um, the World Championships. So. so we know she's got the ability. Can she put it together here? Came off that first move just then. Oh, it's just missed the grey hold. Mm -hmm. Gets her feet set, looks for the swing, kicks back that leg and drives herself forward. And there it is. There Easy. we go. Yeah, I think it was just a, just a mistake, I think, more yeah. than anything on that first A little mistiming or something, yeah. So she rests, swings up. And then oh, looks a little foot jam. Yeah, her toe pressing nice. into the top. Yeah. <gasps> oh. This is the method that the root setters said that they would do. <laughs> yeah, that's what they actually intended. Or they said it was the easiest way to do it, actually, yeah. is to spin completely. Full cut loose and come on. So, Camilla, has she got something in the tank for this really burly move? Come on! Oh, no. she nearly did. <laughs> it's been exciting stuff. So, Camilla's got two minutes. This is her third attempt. Up she goes, kicking. No toe catch needed this time. And now, this is the spinny move coming up. What will she do? Same thing. This is the toe jam, look at that. <laughs> Up she goes, different method this time. Maybe, <gasps> oh, foot pop there, heart and mouth saves it. Yeah, perhaps the spin was more of a, maybe she overcooked it and saved it by rotating. I think so, yeah, because she doesn't seem to want to do it again. Ooh. I have no idea how she just made that match. There's that bad left foot, and that's what you've got to drive off. Uses the edge of the hole to try to get some purchase. <gasps> no, the foot just popping. The foot did pop. Now, Camilla has it. And then you know that each subsequent attempt will be just a little bit faster as you sort of dial in the moves. Your first attempt's always fairly slow. <laughs> Trying to feel it out. Now yeah, Camila's oh comes down. I think she's oh. running out of steam here a little bit. Yeah, she is done. Good effort from her. So Boulder three looks out. Her smile. How will she read this sequence? So decorated already with medals. We talked about it earlier, but she just keeps adding to them in every competition. Here, Team USA in the background cheering her on. Right, up she goes. No toe hook. Into the zone. Okay, so this is the potential big spin move. Oh, just like Brooke. Oh, statically up. And then the cut, and then just hanging around, chalking up. Why not? Ah, oh, and a campus. <laughs> One arm campus up. Outrageous. So strong. <laughs> Went for it, missed it, went again! <gasps> no. It's not a beta problem. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are our scores. Kicks back once more, comes out, gets it this time. Same method so far. This big lock off to the reach, so strong. Chalks up, keeping tension, the weight through her right foot, and then this is the <laughs> spot. Oh. <laughs> That's such a cool do, move. Does she get extra points for that? She should do. I, yeah, I think so, yeah. Right, now she rests again, which is smart, because this is powerful. She's trying to do it statically. It 
which... <gasps> oh, my goodness, how... Whoa! Creeps her fingers <laughs> over. <laughs> look, it doesn't look as powerful, that, but that has all the power to do it that slowly. That was incredible. Well, Natalia Grossman leaves the stage. Two tops, one zone, Stasha Gale hangs in there, two tops, one zone, and it's the... Got a degree in engineering, it's the least I can do is do some addition here. <laughs> <laughs> that is our fourth and final boulder. Big red volumes throughout. Starts down there, and look, this is an upside down style boulder. Yet, yet another inverted start boulder. We've seen a few this weekend. We have, and the men earlier on. So you start feet up, and lead with the feet, and you eventually turn around to be climbing the right way again. Honestly, adding to the atmosphere here tonight. It's just, <laughs> it's like the weather's as dramatic as everything else. So up she goes, upside down, gets the two hook into the toe hook. Just want to get as much of the toe rubber as possible onto that red volume. Now reaches up using all of her core strength to pull herself into the wall. Oh, and then just oh. drops it. It's physics in this kind of a move Which is important. She's got a, a very good grasp on. Yeah. So can Stasha figure it out? She's got a minute and a half to do so. She can get to the top. There's that bronze. <gasps> or just try harder. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh. Who can figure it out? Up she comes, head pressed against the wall, toes up. Comes up with a hand, getting a huge support from the there crowd. There we go, yeah. Come on, Sasha. This is Ride it. She it. can unwind. She might be in. And then switch the foot to the other side. Oh, so much power. Bumps She's that right hand. so hard. Matches. The zone is there. She, oh, she can get the zone. So now she's sideways. She needs to work her way over. Has she got any energy? <gasps> yes. Every move looks like it might be her last. She's still there, though. Working hard at this. Drops down. Look at that black screw on. That's what she was looking to catch. Gets yes. it. So nice. Into the zone for Stasha. Five seconds. And I think it will only be a zone, but it is enough. But at least she got the zone. What an effort to just get the zone on that boulder. Gives a wave to the crowd. <laughs> Framed by a spotlight. And up she goes. And this, yeah, is a long way. Oh, there we go. Just a little foot swing. A little foot swing for her, but now she reaches up. Locks it in. <gasps> oh, it just pops that hand. Climbing later. So Orian turns once more. Up she goes, gets the match, the toe. Wraps it over. And now, can she... Oh, uses oh, nice. the Sasha method. Yeah. Immediately changing her beta there. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh wow. Oh, it makes right into that toe hook. What a sequence from Marianne. Only her second go on this, remember. Wow. High, high heel nice. locked in. And now we don't look, we don't know this next section. Stasha didn't get this far. Mm -hmm. There's a little side pull out on the left at the very top of that cheetah volume on the one that her foot is on and there is hand creeping nice. towards it it's good one move away trying to work out the feet position trying to get balance for it stretches oh, nice. up matches so good Oriaz screams to the crowd at the top calculate success So, Brooke dusting her hands off, looks up. How will she work the sequence out? It's quite a stretch, that first hold off the ground. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's a real oh. kick out there. Oh. Yeah, that's far stretching. Just absolutely at the limit of her reach there. She's got such good uh, core strength to be able to do that. Oh, and straight into this method. Smart from her. Yeah, that 
So much body tension to do those moves. Right, now she rests, and again, smart, coming back into a resting position. Up with the left heel. Yeah, her, her root climber is showing here. <laughs> yeah, and that's a good point as well, because these athletes will have to keep that endurance going. The lead season is coming. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the first lead World Cup is at the same competition as the last Boulder World Cup, so <laughs> you got to be ready for both. So these longer boulders might be suiting her <gasps> a little bit. Oh, oh no! See the hands. Run straight into it. So, a little moment of composure in the spotlight. Again, this is going to be such a long way for her. She launches upwards. Look at that stretch. Gets the toe hook in. Pads the feet out to the right and she drops back down into the rest again. Chalks up. And a toe underneath. Mm, sneaky little toe hook there, nice. Little tricks she's building into the boulder. Starts a little swing to go. This is the problem and this is where she dropped it before. Oh, oh just gets it. Found the extra friction needed. Toe hook underneath, bicycling that hold. Adjusts with the heel, pressing in, bumps yes. the right hand Come on, up. Brooke. Well, she's going to have to match it now. Now, Orient at this point. Oh, there we go. This Fine. is what Orient did. Yeah, the heel, high, high heel. She just rotates all the way through the heel to stand up onto it. Mm -hmm. Pulls her hips right into the wall and she can get a little rest. Three fingers in that hold into this side pull, which is good. Thumb on the edge of the volume as well. Now needs to work out the feet. <gasps> yes! Brings the right through nice. and she'll match well. Great climbing from Brooke. 30 seconds left. It's pretty outrageous, isn't it? It's incredible. So up she comes, gets the start. Actually, a little tap there, and yeah, she's struggling. And it's interesting, I thought more of the athletes would find this move harder. Yeah. Consistent throughout, just it's only a top that's prevented her moving higher up the order. And you can see the thinking, she's wanting to flick that right leg up. Mm -hmm. I mean, it could work for sure. I think it's probably the... Yeah, surely Whoa. she is. <laughs> There's no way she can get the zone now. No. Who cares? Fighting right to the last second. I love it. Fair play, Mia. Right. Well, she gave it. But we'll still absolutely be looking for a top. Yeah, everything's experienced at this point as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're in the middle of a competition. You're not just going to stop. Oh, absolutely. Ooh, interesting. Pressing with that left toe. I'm mean, trying to grow. Look at the face pressed against the wall. You gotta be a gymnast to get this thing done. <laughs> yeah, the flexibility and the reach and, and then, you know, you're fully stretched out and then you've almost got to do a sort of a handstand <laughs> pushing mm -hmm. upwards to get those toes. Yeah, full like upside down pull up and keep your body completely straight. It's so much core tension, so much bicep strength. Yeah, see here, she could give herself a little bit more reach just by engaging her arms more and pulling her body up the way. Now, I'm sure. That's what she's aiming for, that little oh. lip. No go for Camila. I think that's her done. Mm -hmm. So Camila Moroni leaves the stage. She'll go and join the rest of the athletes watching this final boulder. Now it's back. Ball's back in Natalia's court. The drama. <laughs> Natalia, though, we've seen her. She is still fresh, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, after that one arm campus move she did twice on the last boulder. Oh. Uh, now she, oh, different. Oh. Slightly different. So, this is what I said to the root says can you drop down and go up again? Now, but it's a very powerful move to do it like this, Whoa. which she does. Turns around. I mean, she had the power to burn. There's no other way she could have done that otherwise. I, yeah. For sure, that's incredible. <laughs> I didn't think anyone would actually try it that way. Turns and flicks. 
Natalia rests, making it once again look oh. easy. Wait, she needs her other hand here. Oh, yeah, so slightly. Maybe bit. misread this. Backwards. This is going to be awkward to get herself out of this position. Oh. Can she match it? Of course she can. No problem. Yeah. Why uh, did we doubt? I don't know. I'll, I'll be quiet. She <laughs> makes the match <laughs> easy. Come on, Natalia. Up with the left. Now, don't make us all nervous, Natalia. Into it statically, please. But, oh, she's looking for the pop, isn't she? Reaches up statically. Left nice. foot, and that is the gold medal for Natalia Amazing. Grossman. <laughs> Finishes it off perfectly for her. Four out of four. And she will walk away with the gold. Really stamping themselves. And Yanya Garnbrett not competing this weekend. She won in Maringin, but Oriane in second place. Brooke in third. And there is Natalia in first position. Wonderful from her, our top three. Standing on top of the world at the moment here in Seoul, South Korea. They stand up. Thumbs up all round.